Ben Shemin, Tel Hadid. Tel Hadid was a settlement that began in the Canaanite period. There are archaeological finds that indicate that it was active throughout most of history. The place was probably a successful settlement during the reign of Judah, and is mentioned in the Bible as one of the places the Ritternees of Zion came to, after the exile during the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. In the days of the Hasmoneans more than 2,000 years ago, the city was fortified by Shimon Hatarsi. In the Mishnah period, the sages of Israel lived in Hadid, and the city is mentioned as a city with a wall from the days of Joshua son of Nun. A mosaic floor from about 1500 years ago was also found at the site. Today, Route 6 passes through a tunnel under the mound. There was a small Arab village called Hadida. In 1905 for the new settlement in the land of Israel, Joshua Hankin the savior of the lands bought the lands in the area. A modern hot oil press has been set up at the site, utilizing the residual oil in what is left of the olives after being cold pressed. The quality of the oil created from the process is less good and suitable for making soap. The plant failed to produce enough oil and closed. An agricultural farm was established in the area, which did not last long. As part of the Bezalel School of Art in the vision of Boris Schatz, the Mashavat Bezalel was established for Yemeni Jewish goldsmiths, but it also failed. After the First World War, an agricultural test station was established, and Mashav Ben Shemin. Called Shemin after the oil factory. In 1927, the youth village for Zionist education and agriculture was established. Despite the economic difficulties the village succeeded. During the Arab uprising in riots 36 and 39, the place was attacked many times by the Arabs. Dr. Lehman, the village manager who advocated good relations with the Arabs, asked the British to protect them, but they refused. And to protect themselves they hid weapons. The British raided the village, found part of the weapons and arrested the principal, teachers, and Haganah men. They were at trial, and their claim that the weapon was intended for defense did not help. And they were sentenced to several years in prison. The trial was an event that caught the attention of the entire community in the country. Public pressure was exerted in Israel and around the world with the help of Albert Einstein. This reached as far as the British Parliament, and it was decided to replace the prison sentence with a fine. In the UN partition plan, the area was designated for Arab localities. Afterwards, the Arabs began a siege of the place. A Ben Shemin convoy that brought supplies to the besieged Jews was attacked and wounded. Thirteen Jewish fighters were killed by the Arab Legion which was under the auspices of the British. Golda Meir appealed to the High Commissioner to keep the Legion away from the Jews, but the British refused. The Jewish residents left, and a protective force remained. During the War of Independence in Operation Danny, the area was occupied by the IDF. A new settlement was established, the youth village resumed operations, and a Ben Shemin forest was planted. 